The Supreme Court will hear oral arguments in a complicated case that has democracy and states' rights advocates divided. Abby Larico joins us now to verify what it means. Morning, Abby. Hey, guys. Good morning. So though this is a case about maps in North Carolina, read up on Harper v. Moore and you'll find headlines about how this could upend the democratic process nationwide and end free and fair elections as we know them. So to find out what it's really about, let's verify. Our sources are the case of Harper v. Moore, the U.S. Constitution, and Georgetown Law Professor Caroline Fredrickson. This is a case about checks and balances. The Supreme Court of North Carolina tossed out the state's new legislative maps, finding the districts were gerrymandered in violation of state law. The cliche is that the elected officials get to pick their voters rather than the voters picking their elected officials. The court then drew its own maps and a group of lawmakers sued. The lawmakers argument hinges on a political concept called the independent state legislature theory based on the Constitution's election clause saying the time, place and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof. So if the court lands on the side of North Carolina House Speaker Tim Moore and his Republican colleagues, Fredrickson explains it could mean state legislatures can act independently and and governors and state courts would have no ability to check laws related to federal elections. It would take away the really critical role that state courts play in enforcing state constitutions. She further explains that this could go beyond legislative maps because election laws can refer to anything from rules around early voting to how states submit their votes for president. Say this, the people of Maryland or Virginia or Pennsylvania or North Carolina picked one candidate could the state legislature come back and say, well, we don't like the popular vote anymore as our method for choosing electors, and we are now wiping that out, and we're going to choose the electors. But we are really facing with a very radical theory with really radical implications for whether or not we actually continue to have a democracy. So we can verify the outcome in the Harper v. Moore case really could change the way that elections are run and called in the United mm. States. Such a layered issue here. Mm -hmm. um, any chatter on what might happen, where the court might be leaning? Right. So uh, several of the justices on this conservative majority court have spoken in favor of this independent state legislature theory in the past. However, Fredrickson said that even conservatives with their eyes on this are calling it a radical theory. So if the court does side with North Carolina lawmakers, it could be them really adopting this radical theory for the United States.